Hello, and welcome to Whispers Below the Cobblestone, a Thief Bear mission by Prothak. Let's uh, go to the objective screen, where the menu sounds a little quieter, or at least less thumping, and uh, read the briefing, read the intro. Lord Guldenberg might just be the wealthiest man in this part of Hightown. He's engaged in an ongoing competition with the other nobles in this area, his two biggest rivals being Lord Ravenhurst and Lord Leveillo. Goldenberg is said to possess a large art collection which contains the world-renowned painting Majesty and Splendor. Earlier this week, somebody managed to steal a valuable gem from Lord Ravenhurst, the Tanzanite Rachel. That dealt him quite the blow to both his wealth and his reputation. Nobody knows the culprit's identity or how they carried out the heist, but maybe I'll be able to find some clues during tonight's foray. There's no better time for it. The hubbub over theft should create ample opportunity for me to sneak into Goldenberg's palace and get my hands on that painting. There's also a unique district underneath this part of Hightown, excavated from old ruins that date back centuries. The officials tried to make use of those structures by converting them into maintenance facilities and cheap apartments, but the place has attracted nothing but vermin over the years. Now it's fallen into the hands of scoundrels and bandits. The criminal activity in the underground district has increased dramatically during recent years, which has been a huge problem for Hightown's blue-blooded residents. The officials have been trying to control the situation by stepping up the number of guards that patrol, patrol, that patrol the streets and they've even gone so far as to lock the poor bastards up in the Undercity during the night. Now that my competition's out of the picture, I should set about making my move. Maybe I'll even find another way into the Undercity. Right, so... We get loot goals increases and we get don't kill any unarmed, don't kill anyone. Okay, standard kind of difficulty settings changes. Lord Goldenberg is probably the wealthiest nobleman in this part of the high town. The most famous piece being the painting, Majesty and Splendor, steal it. Uh, find out where the Tantonite Rachel gem was taken and steal it. Old story is still an ancient pagan relic buried deep in the ruins. Find it and steal it. This tour should be worth your time. Steal at least 2,000 worth of loot. Well, there seems to be many valuables in this quarter. You should make use of that and steal at least 2,500 worth. It would be bad for your reputation if you'd harm any innocent people, so don't kill any unarmed. Yeah, let's go with hard. I don't know how complex this is, I don't know what I'm going to need in terms of uh, equipment, I don't know how much loot there is. It only goes up to 3,000, so... Mm. There you go, I don't know what that, I don't know what proportion that is. Uh, so I'll stick with this. Partly because of the lower loot goal, but more mostly because it means I have a lot more hit points. <laughs> and you know how I like to take fall damage. Uh, by mistake. Alright, we've got 700 to spend, which is not much. We're going to get out of healing in a flash. And... We have a reasonable set of starting goods. I'm going to grab another flash. And I guess just one more water arrow. Here we get on. Alright, um, one nice thing about having a shop screen is you get a very quick overview of all the, what you start out with and don't really have to do this, but I forgot to check where Paris, we got to. Alright, we're starting down here in the south. So there's his rivals, Ravenhurst and the video, and so Ravenhurst might have, well surely wouldn't have information about where the gem's taken, they just know that it's gone from there. City Works, Guard House, so the City Works might have ways down into the other city. Hammer Temple, of course it's a Hammer Temple. Alright. Well, I mean, it's a mission set up like we crawl around the city a lot, dealing everything and eventually end up at Lord Guldenberg's, I suppose. Maybe you did see something, actually. Oh well. Don't know what it was. Well, it'd be neat to have a guard walking straight towards you at the start rather than away, but I guess it's you know, I'm, I'm patient. <laughs> Shit, another guy coming. Too much coffees this morning. I'm twitchy as hell. Much, much copies. Seems clear. 
Well, he's fast. Dear people of Hightown, Madame Miranu invites you to attend the grand reopening of the old bathhouse in Oldale. The bathhouse possesses the finest swimming areas and bathing facilities to satiate all hygienic needs, as well as soothing thermal baths and steam rooms. We also offer massages from our well-trained masseurs. Enjoy your stay with some delicious canap or wine, just as Lord Richards, Lord Binclair and Lord Baffert did before you. It was ensured that all their wishes were fulfilled to their greatest contentment. Admittance starts at 25 GP. Extra services are not included. Madame Mirano, Bathhouse Jolly Satyr, 71 Meadow Street, Old Ale. Ah, oh, this is the works place. I've been playing Thief 2, got my uh, hot keys for lockpicks back to front. F4, F5, and not F6, F7. Now, I've read the book. Oh god, all these doors that are not doors. Wait, that's it? This whole- oh, I can go up. <laughs> it's like this whole place is just one apple. Oh. Well, uh... I suppose that also works. Greetings, Edmund. How's it going? Seen any shady fellows around lately? Remember to report any suspicious activity you see to me, no matter how minor it may seem. I hope I'm making myself plain. I haven't been able to sleep a wink thanks to those filthy thieves, and I've been rushed off my feet trying to discover their secret passages. Please take the sewer hatch key from the guardhouse nearby and keep it safe. It is essential to be careful in times of turmoil such as these. Oh, and by the by, we'll be celebrating Al's birthday next week. Don't forget to bring him a present. Regards, Marcus. Okay, uh, hatch key, sewer hatch key from the guardhouse. Did he take it? Well, I mean, I guess he didn't get a chance to, maybe? So that's worth noting. Oh, that's just his reading light, that's very nice. He doesn't have a key on him, he's just got a stab in the back. place, isn't that? I'll have to come back there. Hang on, I've got more of this works area to uh, search. Nothing in those crates. Can't even pick them up. Ah, okay, this is just a, a very well enclosed bay. <laughs> Fences all round. Right, no, nothing looks like we'll find anything new there. Ooh. This is this place. This is the city works, and we kind of went inside. That's that's I don't know where. Change across the street. Okay, we've got lots of options for going places. I'm gonna close that again. Close doors behind me now. And we could go down that way across the street there. The question is, can I get in here without plastering on this thing? Yes, I can. The 
Beast and the Madman by B.F. Snippet. <laughs> oh, I thought this was a... Oh, I mean, it is a place we can go. Further north? I mean, sure, let's go further north. Oh, there's a ladder here. We can get down into this. Well, I mean, why not? Nice little gar leafy garden. Orange key, I bet it's for that gate, right? Yep. Okay. Balcony. Not anything in this garden itself is there. Doesn't look like it. I like the vines covering the windows there. That's a very nice, uh, very nice touch. <sighs> I wonder if that. Oh, that's the same house. I mean, it's got the same um, pagan windows there, right? <sighs> She's sure. Alright, and that's continuing to go north. Which has got to be taking us towards uh, Ravenhurst, right? It must be in here somewhere. Was this the garden? Yeah, that would make sense, right? If we're just coming through this building here. I don't like the uh, add-ons that put probable candles in the stock missions. I do like them when they're in missions, so it's always a nice resource-free way to get darkness. Soon. That's just where we came in, right? No. That's where I came in. Okay. I knew we just had to be coming soon, but uh, just wasn't sure how soon. Didn't want to get caught. Detrimental to my reputation. Sometimes to my health. <coughs> oh, that door doesn't open. It's a tiny little... It's okay, more... I wonder if there's anything up there. Who's there? Hello? Shit, he's a... Ah. No, 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 mate, 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 mate. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. How's this ah. feel? 
That feels quite bad, actually. Well, very detrimental. No, I have like no idea so fast. He is super fast. Alright, well, no faffing about. I want to see what's up there. Yeah, he's very fast. Don't tell me he comes in here. No, okay. Cannot keep your valuables from me unless you hide them better than that, oops. Moss, nice. Healing potion, beautiful. Where am I now? Getting north out of here. Am I overlooking this? Noisy tile. When I find you, you. I mean, it's just tile, right? It just didn't. All quiet now. Is someone Busted there? Where did you come from? Hmm. There must have been rats. You didn't open a door. Impulsive. Did you? Maybe you're just chilling there somewhere. Since I'm in Ravenhurst now. <coughs> right, so that's also I think garden. up nothing <coughs> just the chandelier Goldenberg, you fat, stinking, foul mouthed son of a bark, I know it was you, I just know it. Who else could have done it? I'm gonna catch you red-handed, just you wait, and I'll wipe the floor with your sorry arse. You will pay for this, I can promise you that. Ravenhurst. Did they come in here? Do need it. Ooh. One could climb up there. One had the inclination. Having the confirmation that this is uh, Lord, what's his name? His place. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This isn't Goldenberg's. So why is why was there a letter to Goldenberg by the bed? 
Oh, is this Ravenhurst? And it's, this is Ravenhurst's place, and he was writing it, I guess. I suppose. Alright, well, I'm gonna stay on this floor for the moment. To Benedict. Did you know that the state of this worksite is a complete shambles? I know this client's important and he pays good money, but he's so eccentric. He's forever changing his mind about what it is we should be working on. This madman has no idea what he wants, but that doesn't stop him ordering us about like an army general. And that's not even the worst of it. He's forever insulting the men, which is hardly doing wonders for their morale. Everybody's exhausted and frustrated. Who cares if his stupid shiny stone was stolen? That gives him no right to treat his workers like dirt. You have to do something about this, and fast. Supervisor Ronald. There. Nothing here now. <laughs> I'll have that, thank you very much. What is this enormous crate? Oh, hello. Oh, it's just a. Oh, I can't. Ah, oh, ceiling's just too high, I'm gonna clatter. Bollocks. Alright, we've got guards circling a central courtyard. Coming upstairs, alright. There's ledges there, so I could get across to the middle area. Here, warm my hands on my coffee mug and sit out behind him. Who's noising about then? Gotta stop jumps and stops. I will. Must do nothing. So, I mean, seeing this balcony, I thought, you know, it would be smart to come here and get in this. But... <laughs> These guys have good vision. But no, that's not going to help me. Maybe I should check the lower floor anyway. This is a. Uh... Let me get guard to follow. Maybe under the stairs, just a nice little thief hole. Does not. <laughs> These two spiral staircases going up to directions, that's unusual. All right, so I'm back where I started. Right, so there's a whole area in there I can't get to, right? There's a gate, and there's these two towers. Take us in uh, downstairs and then upstairs, but neither of them let us actually get into that zone. <laughs> 
thought I saw something. Ow. I thought he was coming in here to go in this door, but it's not a fucking door. Uh, I didn't expect him to just turn around in front of me. Oh, that is our friend again. I don't know what he's spooked by. Well, I guess it's time to eat. Time to drink, rather. I've got a blood stain there, but I'm not going to waste a water arrow on that. Right, so this is where I've been before. Is he the blind? He didn't even see me there? Oh no, okay, he didn't see me, he just didn't respond. <coughs> Maybe he didn't. Yes. <coughs> Fine, Ravenhurst. You can go. Uh, I'm gonna put you on your bed. Against my better judgment, because a guard patrolling past might actually see you. I don't know if they would or not. To the most honourable city warden, Coleridge, I fear I must inform you that I'm highly disappointed by your recent actions. You promised to support me during my times of need, but now these times have come, you have failed to make good on your word. I insist that you send more men to search for my precious Tanzanite, Rachel. Let me tell you that this is a complot. They are all conspiring against me. Live a year, the thieves in the foul den of depravity they call the undersea, and that arrogant, insolent fool, Goldenberg. I've had quite enough of it all. This is a bloody catastrophe. My festivity will be ruined if my Rachel is not retrieved. And soon. Aldrich Ravenhurst. <coughs> Okay. Just a little. Oh. Where's going? Good. My my blood has gone and sorted itself out. All right. I don't want to go out in there yet. Which side are we at? South. I should make a note, a D for door there. Come here, going. <coughs> Definitely approaching. Didn't go the way I planned. All quiet now. Must have been rats. <sighs> just, just the one rat. Gotta stop jumping at nothing. <clears throat> huh? Too much coffees this morning. I'm twitchy as hell. Seems clear. <laughs> Let's try that again with slightly less catastrophe this time, I hope. What was that noise? Wait, those guys coming up the stairs? Do these guys just patrol randomly? 
Something unpredictable. How do we get in there? That's part of his house. Okay, that's for the north. But you saw me. You can't hide for long. Oh well. Let's do nothing. Are we only are we only going to get into the north from this from the other side? Very weird. This, there seems to be no connection to the rest of the house, but I mean, there's all these doors that are not doors, so... Uh, oh! Well... <laughs> that's a good reason to reload. I'm not gonna take that. Not after everything else. Okay. Not after using both my healing potions. Well, my movement feels weird, and it might just be it's tuned differently than... than I had it set up in. <laughs> Beef two or something, I don't know. Can't hear it anymore. Probably nothing. I do appreciate the uh, different metal sound on the chains, though. Don't know if it's a uh, sound the guards will react to or not. Guess I'll need to find out. Greetings, Silveron. I want to thank you for your last letter and your new film formulas. I'm sure these will be useful to me later on. As for my news, Lord Rimhurst is currently renovating his estate. That makes two buildings nearby that are being done up at the same time. It's very noisy and distracting, and the frequent arguments Lord Rimhurst engages in with his personnel hardly helps. These disturbances have been increasing as of late to an almost unbearable degree. The situation has become so dire I'm thinking of relocating to another tower. Alas, I'm doubtful that I'll be able to find anything that suits my needs nearby. The mundane rebel will never understand why it is that we need these towers. Explaining such matters to the Lion Lords can be so very tedious. Please let me know if you can arrange something about a new tower, Melchior. Lots of door. And why do you men just need towers? Alright, we've got another garden here. So that was the mage tower. Yeah, I guess this is the scaffold here. Street here, so this isn't really where I need to be. But I guess I can chill for a bit. So that's Ravenhurst's place from the outside. Absolutely nothing, so. Alright, so I was just up there. Oh. Nothing here, absolutely dead end of nothing. Not even a dead end with a nice dark corner. Oh, he's one of Ravenhurst's guards, I guess. This morning. I'm twitchy as hell. Okay, so there's a way... Hmm... That's that garden that I saw, right. No, 
no, that's a, that feels like a different one. I have to have a look through once the guy isn't coming this way. Yeah, that's not, that's not the one with the ladder down. I don't remember. It's, it's in the right place to be this one. Oh, I didn't go to ladder. I went from balcony to balcony or something. I don't know. I have to I have to have a look. West. I wonder if that gets me anywhere. Oh, that's what I came out of. Cool. Uh, I guess we can head down the street to the east again and not go through the works building. I mean, we could go through the works building and explore more of this, but let's let's have a look at this street to the right of where the archer is. Oh, to where that swordsman is going. Well, that might work out actually. The swordsman should be going away by the time the archer. Decides to turn around and go back. Who is there? Is someone there? Yeah, that works. As long as he doesn't decide to like turn around and come back this way. Who's that other person walking the street there? Dripping from a, some kind of machinery there. Does he keep walking? There. I was going to go, but he decided to stop and turn around. Okay. Sir? No? <coughs> what use are you then? It definitely feels like a mission where being at street level is an enormous disadvantage. No, nope, not a door. Oh, nice open window. But being at street level, I can't reach it. Floors. Guards coming nearby. So this will be the Levely. Levely Estate. Steps if I make Come out, you. I heard that. Well, apparently it won't turn my footsteps if I make any noise. <laughs> Come back out here, you taffer! I didn't hear any clanking, but apparently he did. Hmm. Wow. Must have been rats. Your ears, man. Your ears are very good, apparently. Wait till it's thoroughly upstairs. Well, you know, there's just so much floor. There's how do we get a moss out in a good place here? I don't know. Oh, 
that's not a door. Okay, basement. Someone's washing the gold dishes. Not a door. Alright, well, let's check the basement. I do want to go upstairs, but, um. Okay, we're gonna need a key for the basement. waste. But we're going to have to be pretty quick, I think. Dang, it didn't cover. Didn't cover as much as I wanted. Straight back out again. I hope the guard doesn't come out here. Actually, I should leave the door open. Sir, was that you? Oh well. And try not to be seen. Must have been rats. Don't know what it was. Let me see what the guard does up here. Okay, he turns around and goes back. <sighs> There's a guard here as well. the other guy. Damn it. There was plenty of time to go there, but there's somebody I haven't accounted for and I don't know when they're coming back. Upstairs. Hmm. Have more plattery floor. in this room or any way out is this just a dead end it looks like a dead end I thought it might be uh, have more windows oh it's very nice ceiling good use of the vaulted texture there how long does that guard take to come back I thought 
I've expected him here already. Oh, I can light him again. Let's not. And people up above me get all the light and get all the favors, and I don't have another thing to eat in days. I haven't had a thing to eat in days. Just a minute ago, you were wondering when they were going to bring you your dinner. I have a feeling they've forgotten that you exist. And unfortunately, I've just taken the cheese that was on the table here, so you're not getting any dinner anytime soon. A tough life. It doesn't look like there's anything else here for me. Did I read that? No. Dear Cecil, have you heard what happened to Ravenhurst? His most valuable possession was stolen. He's trying to keep it hush-hush, but he can't pull the wool over my eyes. Those filthy thieves must have stolen his gem while he was away. Well, if you ask me, it served him right. It was foolish of him not to increase the number of guards about his home, what with all the criminal activity that's been going on. His reputation will be damaged most severely by his blunder. At least I certainly hope it is. I wouldn't be at all surprised if nobody attends his annual festivities this year. I'm looking forward to your next letter, my dear. Jean Lanou. Ah, here's the window that would let us out. Okay, that's a good window, actually. Yeah, I'd come in here, I wonder. Oh, it's just another stairway. Aha. Uh -huh. This must be where the noble guy who thought I was a rat. A repulsive rat. Yes, he must have come up here. And now he's on the way back down again. Or maybe just moving about. He definitely comes down here, right? He went up. I guess that doesn't necessarily follow, he might have just gone up and be staying up there for an hour. <laughs> Alright. <sighs> right, I guess I don't need to try fancy acrobatics. Now he is coming down, see? Basement key. Anything else? Bookcase. Doesn't appear to be so. <sighs> All right. I guess we go down and try to find the basement. Let's come back up. Hmm. At least this way I can see where the guards are. Of course, the guard goes there and comes back out. of rats. Is someone there?
What was that? Dang. <laughs> what are the guys doing right now? Can't read a book. Okay. Tasty, tasty. Hmm, well, I mean, I can admire the art and the vases. So, there was a banner in that other uh, hallway. So, I thought the guard was coming straight in. He's coming in, he just wasn't coming directly in. Okay. <clears throat> Down to the basement, right? And the guard goes in the door down there and comes straight back out and up the stairs. Why is that third statue facing away? <coughs> very odd, isn't it? Looks very odd to me. Access is okay. I see that key didn't destroy itself. Hello? Is someone there? Seems like. hear anybody around. I'm going to risk making noise. Does this go to the Undercity? Well, that looks like a, a grate I could open. This looks like... I guess I could drop down and grab some more water arrows. Hello? Somebody's out there. Be careful with the noise, I guess. And brightness. Ooh, a warehouse.
Oh, that's my way down. What about this door I had opening without any footsteps? Hmm. Let's see if any of these other grills are openable. No grill here. No, there is. It's just very dark. Oh, there are footsteps. I see. It's just a common or garden guard. Go back and look at that other grill that I thought was openable, which I didn't sort of check, right? <laughs> See what my movement options are. Oh God, I've... All right, can you crouch, please? No. Okay, now I can crouch. That's a bit more like it. Wooden floor, far preferable to a metal one. Oh, a corpse. Well, I mean, far preferable to a living guard, right? It's a mine and some money, but what's he doing up here? This is the Undercity. I'm not going to get in here though, so... I guess I could use... No, I could rope my way down, actually. Right? Hmm, maybe. Is there someone else dead down there? Oh yeah, like a catwalk broke. No, I think the warehouse is probably the better way forward. For me. here so thanks very much for watching when you come back we're going to be exploring the other city